Hi, I am Claire. Welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I am going to be doing a student housing home in The Sims 4. So this home is two bedrooms, three baths, and I currently do not know the price of it. It will be down in the description of my video. And so we are starting off in the kitchen like I would any other home, although this home's more of a kitchenette rather than a full kitchen. I couldn't have any grills or ovens on this lot. It's one of the student housing traits, and so it's just a little kitchenette so your sims can still get like cereal and quick meals like that but not like a turkey dinner and so we are just going to be going in to the living room now i was kind of imagining this home would be for a like uh, obviously it's like four sims but this is the house that all the sims come to on the weekend and when maybe like finals are over or something like that so it's a kind of like a bit of party vibes hangout vibes but it does have like study study areas to it and i did want to keep with the school colors and i'm pretty sure the yellow and green is brightchester and i know their their mascot is a dinosaur so i wanted to have like those colors throughout the space and i built it on that side of the school boundaries if you didn't know there are two or there are two different like colleges or universities that are come with the Discovery University world or pack. There's Brightchester and Foxborough or Foxbury. And so we are just going to be kinda wrapping up the living room area, just kind of adding the small details here and there. I do come back later a few times to add different clutter, making it seem like fun and kind of like, oh, my class started in f five minutes ago. I need to go. So it kind of looks like some stuff has just kind of been dropped and left. But I wanted to make this second floor landing space into kind of like another living room hangout spot. And I wanted this to just kind of be an extension from the main level. And I do have a lot of Bright Chester themed items, like posters and items like that, because I wanted there to kind of give the feel like the university owns this house and like it's like maybe like past students have put it up these school posters and i should probably mention the ping pong table you probably did see just the debate station i'm like that's kind of lame but they want to have fun they don't want to worry about school like and so the first thing your guests see when you walk into this house is the ping pong table i know that was probably a long explanation for a short story but that's kind of been my life right now i am going to be doing a top 10 video because for a school project and i decided what better better not to do it on than the sims so i'm going to be doing a uh, video on my top 10 favorite sim packs and i'm going to be sharing my reasons for that and i'm in a uh, digital marketing certificate right now so if you're like why is this girl doing like a top 10 for a school project that is why and so i am just going to be adding some different items from debug I always like, I don't, don't like scrolling through like debugs just because it's like overwhelming. But so I put in some debug items in a room and then I save that room to my library. And so whenever I want to add some like more like details or like kind of smaller items, I can just like pull up that room and then have those items there. And I want to mention a comment I got on my last video. They mentioned how they would love for me to post every single day. And unfortunately, I can't because, like I said, I'm in college right now. And so I wish I could post every day. But unfortunately, that is just not a ability I, can ha I have right now. 
and I'm sorry that I am too quiet with my microphone. So we are now in the second bedroom, or the first bedroom. <laughs> there are two bedrooms on this floor, and I wanted this space to fit four sims. One, because it is a requirement, and two, I feel like four sims would be a good number to have in this house and so I probably should have used bunk beds for this room but I decided to make these four sims have a amount a enormous an a enormous amount of school pride and so I wanted to have like the university logo on the bed. I think this maybe would be a freshman house since I don't, maybe seniors do have a large amount of school pride, but I just thought it would be funny and kind of like, okay, yes, I am in this college. I am not in the other college. And so we are just going to be going in and adding some clutter on the desks. I do have a desk in the hallway because these rooms are smaller than I thought when, after I placed down the bed. So I'm like, oh, there's not enough space in here. And so we are just going to be adding some pictures into the main area, this like hallway area. And I thought this would be fun to add these like old school pictures. Maybe this house has been around for a while. That was kind of like my intention with like the shape of it and with the wallpaper. It kind of looks a little older and not like too older, but like it has like older feeling to me. And so we are just going to be going into the bathrooms right now. I was trying to make these bathrooms kind of mirror images of each other, but one of these is an ensuite to the bedroom, and so I wanted to give it a little bit more, so that one has the bathtub. And now we are just going to me going in and just kind of making sure I get both of these items just kind of doing it back to back so I knew I wouldn't forget anything and just going to be adding some towels I don't know why I wanted these to be like off-centered but I do think it looks good and so we are just going to now be decorating the dressers just kind of keeping it simple wanted this space to be able for you to change around if you want to play in this house then it's easy for you to move your sims and their styles into this house and if you don't necessarily want like a uh, university bed or a bed with the university logo on it then you can do download this house place it and then like change it to, to your desire i don't care if you uh, redesign it. Just give me the credit if you repost it. And so we are just going to be adding the curtains onto the windows. I started off with the windows in the bathroom, but then didn't realize it, it didn't slot. And so the final version does have curtains in the bathrooms. I did realize that when I was taking screenshots and I was just like focusing on taking screenshots and so when I was editing it on to this video I, that's when I realized so the final version now does have curtains in the window and so we are just going to be placing down some more desk items and some more clutter here and there. I wanted this front entryway area to look like a kind of disaster of a drop zone. And I really like the backpack with the open books. Like the student was taking so many class, maybe one too many classes that involves a lot of books and they were just spilling out right at the door and I thought that was just a fun little detail there and so we are just going to be adding a few personal touches again I wanted this to be easy for you to add your own your sims own style and details and likes and interests but I do add a guitar into one of the bedrooms and so I do add a lot of like soccer posters on to this main area. I thought that would be fun. Maybe the soccer 
team in the in the school like won nationals or something and so they're just a whole bunch of like sport or they are just a whole bunch of sports people although there's not really that much evidence of that anyway we are just going to be adding some more university items and more like kind of fun fun hanging out items like this poster with like a calendar and there's like tickets in the bottom corner and so if you want to play in this house you can find it on the sims for gallery my id is green underscore rose underscore sims and you can find it there the price and the name of the lot will be down in the description and so we are just kind of wrapping up this video and going to be ending in the backyard so i wanted this to be simple but fun i know these college students probably don't have enough time or effort to take care of the lawn so i just wanted to have like simple hedges or uh, hedges is like kind of close plants here and there and have a soccer ball maybe the like i said these sims are very sports heavy maybe and so we are just going to be wrapping everything up just going to be adding a little hanging chair in the lot and so i hope to see you all next week for another sims or video make sure you hit that like and subscribe button bye